Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. waited all winter for this. We can't wait either. Family. When you spend more than half the year with a person, that is what they become. I just knew I wanted to come here. It was it was amazing, and not just not just the rink, but like the guys, like just take you in even on your visit like they treat you so well and yeah like everything about just the visit like the first impression was it was just amazing and like I knew right away that I want to come here and play. First time here I actually I came here for like a peewee tournament when I was really young and uh, that's when I saw my first game but uh, like thinking back when I was going on my visit I didn't really remember it too well and then when I came here I kind of had some flashbacks remembered like what uh, what that game was like and then obviously seeing everything here it came in through the main doors and it was just like the detail of everything was so special and you just feel and see the history uh, of the players before me and uh, you know I just knew this was the right place for me. Yeah, I think, I mean, it starts in the dorms, freshman year, you're kind of stuck face to face with each other in a small dorm room and uh, kind of forced to hang out with each other and uh, yeah, uh, especially that freshman year when you don't really know, know many guys on the team, you kind of build your own little chemistry and then, I mean, obviously it's just four years been the four closest teams I've ever played on, but uh, I don't think it quite matches how close you get with your class. and. Like you said, some guys have left. Uh, we brought Jonesy in. He's fit in great with us. We've had a blast with him for two years. And I think it's just kind of special how you kind of go through everything together. Uh, you go through all the growing pains together and kind of stick together and get through it. The path to UND for this group of seniors was unique. You know, growing up, 
being from Minnesota, right, from the cities, you kind of are expected to be a gopher fan, go play for the gophers, but uh, I, I was always kind of different. I always, you know, you saw the, the Sioux logo here and how special that was, and I stepped on campus for my visit, and uh, I had a great, great meeting with the coaches. Uh, I was just treated like gold here. The players were, were so nice to me and getting to know me and making me feel welcome just for the two days that I was here. And uh, you know, I after I visited here, I canceled all my other, my other visits and just decided like this is it. This is this is a spot for me. I just felt, just felt right. I had kind of a unique situation where I wasn't exactly recruited to UND. I was uh, playing junior hockey and I decided to continue uh, with school so I applied to UND and then my freshman year Matej Tomek uh, got, went down with an injury so Bradbury uh, called me up and uh, asked if I would join the team for just for on a practice basis and then it uh, transformed into something else, a permanent spot and now here I am. The realization of the final year drawing on these five has caused them to reminisce about the highs and the lows. Yeah, the Minnesota series was um, was at home that last year was um, was special. Um, the Vegas series was uh, rivaled that just with uh, the fans and all the tailgating and uh, you know how we just kind of dominated the fan base there with Minnesota um, and. Uh, just hanging out with the guys is probably the best part. Like you know, it's you. You look at those big moments, but at the end of the day, all the little moments outside the rink. I think those are the things you'll remember the most. Obviously, the freshman year, the entire year almost was just a unbelievable experience, and obviously, capping it off with the championship was something that I'll never forget. And then uh, the last couple of years, we had the destination games at Madison Square Garden and. Uh, Vegas playing against the Gophers was a highlight for sure and you know just uh, those those in particular were some of the best moments I'd say. For this year's seniors knowing that this chapter is closing can be bittersweet. You know, I definitely take a kind of take a step back every every game, kind of take a look around. But you know, just enjoying every day, never wasting a day here. Um, I think that's the biggest part. Just coming, you know, freshman year, I feel like you have all the time in the world. But uh, you know, now that I'm a senior, I only have a couple weeks left. It's really this whole year. I've just been trying to enjoy every day and get better every day. I think of the off the off the ice stuffs kind of like away from the rinks. Probably the stuff you enjoy the most. Just uh, you get to know a person way more outside the rink and um, hanging out with them on Sundays or you know days off and in the summer and stuff like that. You know, in the rink it's kind of more business. Um, but getting away from the rink and doing stuff, team, team bonding stuff. It's that's kind of when you get to know the guys and that's kind of the stuff I miss the most. I think just seeing them every day. Uh, such whether it be a game day or just practice day, off day, we just have so much fun together. I mean, uh, every guy's a little different. Some guys are more serious, some guys are more fun, but I think uh, we all just gel together and we get each other and we just have fun together. Throughout the week, you're going to think back on all the fun times, all the good times that have been spent here and just uh, being with the guys and the seniors especially, uh, I think we'll just look back and it'll be something special on Saturday night when they have the have the video up on the big big screen and all that so that'll be fun just enjoy enjoy every day enjoy every day and just make it count and uh, just leave your mark leave your mark on this program and uh, just add to the tradition